a lot of men and women old and young we're like nancy 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 what you got on i'm like don't worry about it don't worry about it sweetheart that's that's blah. <laughs> hi lovelies welcome back to at home with nancy this video is actually my first fragrance haul or should i say fragrance video these here are my most complimented fragrances and also i have here on this side some of my wish list fragrance if you're seeing my wish list video i talked about some of the fragrance i would like to add to my fragrance collection so if you're new here thanks for joining us today you know and if you are returning thank you so for those of you who are not yet still subscribed i see on my analytics that i have a lot of non-subscribers watching my videos so i would love for y'all to hit that subscribe button and join the most high gang <laughs> and also for you to connect with me also follow me on instagram nancy underscore new okay and of course i would love for y'all if you do love my videos please hit that like button i see y'all watching so i would love for y'all to like the video and of course comment on the videos i do have a lot of y'all commenting on my instagram pages but i would love to also see the comments Oh, my YouTube comment section so I could talk to y'all and interact with y'all because I do love, I honestly do enjoy chatting with y'all, you know. So let's get started. So here are my most used perfumes so far. At the bottom, I have more of my designer perfumes. The majority of these ones are designers. Then I also do have some of my niche perfume like this one right here. And then I have some more niche perfumes. I'm going to be adding to this top row. So let's start first with my wish list perfumes. So my wish list, I talked about two perfumes I really wanted. Do y'all remember? I'll wait to see if y'all remember. Okay. Well, I talked about two. It was Clive Christian and Mason Francis Kirkjan Baccarat Rouge 540 Extract. So the green box is the Clive Christian. So let's unbox this. So here's the beautiful, vibrant box. I love, 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 love the packaging. So one thing I do notice about this niche perfumes, the packaging is very like grand. Like the boxes, these ones do come in little round boxes too, but it's not like this. Like you see this, it's like a box. It has this and it has this inside, which is really cool. Here it is. The black box with gold. Wow. Look at this packaging. This is beautiful. The green emerald bottle with the gold crown cap. How gorgeous is this? Clive Christian original collection. So this is also known as the feminine perfume. They also have the masculine one in the green bottle too, just like this. So I have never purchased this perfume before, but I have tried it before, I've smelt it before. So let me just smell it again, I'm excited. So that's my son. He wants to smell it. Um, ah, oh, this smells really good. So Clive Christian took over from an old perfume company in Great Britain. So it was called the Crown Collection. So in 1999, I believe, Clive Christian took over from that company and created the Clive Christian. So this perfume, this company, Clive Christian, made actually the most expensive perfume in the world according to the guinness book of record card number one and they also made other beautiful ones like this one so this is clive christian 1872 and oh, this 
is actually unlike anything I've ever smelled before. It's so different. It has this, it has some floral notes. It does have a citrus note too. It also has top notes of rose de mai. Maybe that's why it has some little floral tones on it. So the rose de mai is actually, according to the perfumer, is actually one of the most rarest natural ingredients in the world. So that's actually quite interesting because, oh, hey, let me get that paper back. Thank you. And it has this sophistication to it. This definitely is like a date night fragrance. So it reminds me of a song that my older cousin used to sing back in the day. It's like, oh, 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 mysterious girl, I want to get close to you. That's this. Like, it's so mysterious. It's just different from the majority of my perfumes that I have. So let's move on to the next perfume. So now... So moving on to the next fragrance, which is this, is by Mason Francis Kirkjan Baccarat Root 540 Extracts. This one I have used before, and I wanted it so badly. So, here it is. Here's the beautiful vibrant red and gold bottle like this is so beautiful it's very sexy this i've smoked before i have an empty bottle here but i'll spray it again because i miss it i smelled this so much <laughs> Olive gloss just literally stained it. I can smell this all day. So this is a very sexy, yet floral. Strong, but not too strong. So this is definitely a Mr. Studio Girl fragrance. Like the Trey Song song goes, bottoms up. Oh, 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 oh. is Mr. Studio Girl. That's this. That's Backrap Rouge 540 Extract. Like this stuff... It's uh, so complimented, like it's not even funny, you know. I have used this before. The longevity of this stuff is crazy. Like this stuff lasts. Like you will take off your clothes, take put it off for let's say a week, go back to it, smell it, it stays. This stuff is just pure sophistication in the bottle. It has notes of saffron. Ambergris, musk. One thing I do know about myself is that I'm drawn to things that have bergamot, musk, um, jasmine. When I see those stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I love fragrances like that. It does give a floral aura, but it's not too sweet. It has some bitter almond. And I believe the bitter almond balances out the sweetness to this. Ah, oh, this is very sexy. This is definitely a date night fragrance, you know. This fragrance says, shut your mouth up. Like, this fragrance is like, I am here. This fragrance is for a strong man and a strong woman. This fragrance right here is unisex. The previous one I talked about, Clive Christian, is also unisex too. So that's the good thing about these ones. So these are the niche fragrance. This, let me get the green bottle, Aaron. Thank you. And this. So the perfume also created these perfumes do not have um, any designer clothes. All they do is focus strictly on producing fragrances. So here is the next one. This is from the house of Byredo, Bond the Freak. This Bond the Freak fragrance was not on my wish list, but it was something I've been meaning to add to my collection. So this I already opened, but I've not really used it as much. I used it a little bit just to see the longevity. That's why I opened it just to see if it lasts. I could tell you all about it. So I've used it like, let's say, four to five times. So here it is. It's very clean. 
very much minimalistic just a black and white bottle right here it has a black magnetic cap which is pretty cool it has a beak on top of here so this is an eau de parfum just like the other two but the back part is extracts so it's not just an eau de parfum so i'll spray this here Hold on. So this one is from the house of Byredo and is made by Ben Ben Gorham. This was basically a love letter to Africa. So that is why I actually really wanted this and I was very interested in this fragrance, you know. So Byredo is actually not is a pretty new fragrance company which actually was established in 2006 but the bar the freak was actually made in 2009 so this fragrance i you know being african descent being born in africa i was like okay this is something i would actually like to have in my collection it has top notes of africa marigold it does have bergmont which i do love then it has um, some vertiver, I think some base notes of vertiver. Then it has middle notes of violet. So when you talk about base notes and top notes, so the top notes is what you smell first when you open a fragrance, you know, and the base notes is what you smell later. But the heart notes or the middle notes like violet is what the, make the fragrance consists of the most. So that's what you smell more. And then towards the end of the day, you might smell the base notes when the fragrance starts fading off. Ben Gorham did mention when he was younger, his dad did take him to Africa. So this was more of like memories of Africa. So this fragrance was inspired by African music, African culture, you know, and everything else, you know, African related. So this fragrance makes me think of the song Essence by Whiskey when it says, You don't need no other body. Only you for hold my body. <laughs> so this fragrance is very beautiful. It's very clean. Very clean. So this fragrance, if you, let's say you're going to work, it's something you could wear to work. It's something you could wear for date night. It's very smooth. You could wear it in the winter. You could wear it in the summer. I love this fragrance. But the only thing I would say about it is the fact that the longevity is not that great it is good it's like seven hours eight hours but it's not as good as a back rack road 540. i can't really speak for clive christian because i haven't used it yet but i hear clive christian has a good longevity but back racks, i know that stuff has really good longevity this i would say they say it's unisex but to me i feel like it's more feminine it's more for ladies compared to men so let me talk about this one so this is by Mason Francis Cargan, Gentle Fluidity. So it has a good cap just like the red one. This fragrance, let me spray it. <sighs> so this fragrance is definitely more on the softer side. It's also unisex too, but to me I feel like it leans more towards women. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's very, very sexy. And it's very clean. This fragrance, I believe you could wear out. You know, out and about. You could also wear it to work. You could also wear it for dinners, date nights. You could wear this also in the summer. So this has notes of vanilla. It also has some musk which I do love. Like, like I said, I love this with musk in it. It's very floral. It's very floral, but it's yet so elegant. Like this fragrance is like, I'm here, but I'm just very laid back, you know? So that's what it gives me. Now let's move on to the next one. This one. 
so this is the tom ford black orchid so this is a designer fragrance so we so this is a 50 ml bottle this is actually for my husband but i use it with him so this is actually the most potent form of the black orchid because they do have one with a black bottle but this is more potent and this the longevity is pretty good you know I, I, to me when i do use it i feel like it lasts all day on me you know everyone's body chemistry is different you know so my husband actually introduced me to this fragrance like he used the black bottle before and i really did like it so i decided to give them the gold bottle you know just to see because i heard it was stronger and he loved it so this bottle just even the packaging is so beautiful uh, it's composed of black orchid it has notes of um, black plum it also has notes of patchouli and more so this i don't even have to spray it on paper it's a very 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 seductive very sexy fragrance this is definitely like going out with your man fragrance you know that's what this is so if you're trying to purchase more affordable fragrance i would definitely say look at this this is about a hundred and fifty dollars or so this is the 50 ml bottle or oh, i think it was maybe i can't remember how much it was but it's around a hundred so the next designer fragrance i'll be talking about is this so this is feve delicio by christian Dior. so this is part of their private collection so the private collection is part of their private collection they have other ones in the private collection like old is Pahan. so this one i gifted to my husband but it's unisex i use this too let's spray this let's see ah <sighs> Uh, so this fragrance reminds me of the Jesus song that says, I know, I know, I know, you like it, you love it, you like it, you love it. She wants that old thing back. That's this. Like this is the fragrance that you're, it's like how you have an ex, but you can't let go of the ex. You keep going back to the ex. That's what this is. It's that one ex you can't get enough of. That's this one ah it does smell sweet so this gourmet fragrance reveals some exotic irresistible smell like it has milk it has vanilla caramel like <laughs> tonka bean so even though it has vanilla it's not it's sweet but not too sweet because that tonka bean does balances out this smell it has a magnetic lead it has cd on the cap it has CD here too. This is definitely a winter autumn fragrance. Ah, oh, it's very irresistible. I would say that much. That is, this is that X. This is the Mr. Still Your Girl fragrance. This or Mr. Still Your Man fragrance. I use it too because this smells good. I can't get enough of it. Like when my husband uses this stuff, I'm like, oh, it smells so good. Next is Louis Vuitton Attrape Reverse with smell. notes of. Let's smell. This is a very. Oh, it's very different, I would say. It's very like distinct. This fragrance depicts boss. A very bossy lady who is very confident. Ah, oh, you gotta be very confident to wear this. It's kind of strong but it's not too strong like it would not make you sneeze you know and with this fragrance i feel like a little goes a long way i've used close to half of the bottle it has notes of bergamot it has some cocoa it has some peony ah it has patchouli in this too and it has some other notes i can't remember but this this fills up the room my friend did tell me she smells this on me a lot and that's because i've been using this a lot more than the rest of them i use this a lot and i also use this one a lot the uh, feve so i have fragrance for different occasion like this one i actually use when i am going out to an event 
this I use when I want to shut the room down. This is what I use. So now let's move down to the girly, strictly girly feminine fragrances at the bottom. So this is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. So Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, this does has some citrus notes. It has a floral aura, but it's citrusy at the same time. I could smell some jasmine here. You know I do like my jasmine. It has patchouli and vertiver. It also has some other notes, I think May Rose or so. It's very sensual. Oh, I love this fragrance. I feel like as a woman with class, with elegance, this is a must. Every woman needs this cocoa and this Jador. So this right here reminds me of, let me see. Alexa, play me. I'm in love with the cocoa. Alexa responded, I got it for the low, low. So this one I've had for a long time, but I've not used it for a while. Alexa, be quiet. Oh, Alexa was asking. Oh my God. I just activated Alexa. Alexa, be quiet. I do not want to get copyrighted. Aaron, could you stop Alexa, please? So now let's talk about Jadora. As you can see, I have just a little bit left. <laughs> I use this a lot, but I still haven't used it in a while. It has clear bottle with the gold silhouette. It looks like a lady, just looking at it, like the shape of it. So you can tell this is for females. So this is the Jadora Eau de Parfum. They have different ones. They have Joy and so many others but this is the one i keep going to so my mom gifted me this fragrance and i begged her for years for it because she had so many and she said no but then one day she gifted it to me and i've been in love ever since and ever after my first bottle was done i went back got a second bottle got a third bottle got a fourth bottle and now i have this bottle and i'm almost done with this so let's spray this this smells like a bouquet of flowers Ah, very floral, very much so, very floral. Oh my God. I do have really good taste when it comes to fragrances. Like, I really do. You cannot go wrong with Jadora as a woman. Like, this stuff smells good. And these bottles actually, this bottle actually ranges from, I believe, about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. I believe they have a small size that's like 80s, like 80 something dollars. This has top notes of Ylang Ylang, and it has a uh, base notes of some jasmine. You know, I do love my jasmine, bergamot, and musk. So maybe that's why I'm drawn to this. I use this summer, winter, fall, all year round. This is my all year round fragrance. If you're going to work and you wanted to use this, it's not gonna be offensive, you know? Now I have Miss Dior. This fragrance here is, um, spray it. This fragrance I use as an out and about fragrance. So this fragrance has some rose. I just smell some lily of the valley. It has some oh, peony. So, it's really really good i use this as a summer fragrance like i love this as a summer fragrance and it's very youthful so this is very youthful i don't think it's for the matured crowd i think it's more for like younger 30s and below crowd like college students 20s 30s 
I mean, you could use this too if you're like 50s, 60s, but to me, I just feel like it smells more young and youthful. It's really, really girly. Like, it's very girly. It has the bow on the lid. So everything I have here are all eau de parfums. No eau de toilette. Oh, it's an eau de parfum extract, like the Baccarat Rouge. Oh, another cool thing I would like to tell y'all. Do you know... Byredo, the company that makes Byredo also make the candle diptyque. Here's my diptyque candle. This was gifted to me by my friend. So, yeah. So, it's the same company, which is interesting. And I do know a lot of y'all who might be getting perfume gifts for family and friends. So, these are actually very good ones to purchase for your loved ones and, of course, your friends. So, if you're looking for manly smells, I would say this 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 and these these are all unisex can be used for men and women my men love this stuff okay so if you all made it to the end of my video today thank you all for watching let me know in the comment section what your favorite your go-to or your most complimented perfumes are thanks for watching and love y'all don't forget to subscribe.